Bro Cam here, and today I just wanted to talk about uh, some stray keys that I have. Uh, I've got, I actually printed this one. This might be uh, the first thing I printed on my Bamboo P1P, and uh, I just recently put this together. Uh, I've had just the plastic pieces sitting around for about two years now. And I just got tired of looking at it, and I said, I'm going to put this thing together. Uh, I, I lost the uh, 3D print files and the instructions where they wanted you to get really specific, like a specific spring and some specific screws. And I just said, I'm going to batch this together with whatever I have. So I got my M3 screws to fit in the hinge back here. Uh, I got my M3 screws to fit in the holes in the top and the bottom. And then I just used some of my uh, 30 gauge hookup wire to go from there and there. Uh, it runs through here and, and out the back here. And uh, I just soldered up a little TRS plug. And I was like, eh, I don't really feel like kind of like maybe making a spot for this here. I'm just going to go ahead and just tape this down. So we're just going to tape it down. And lastly, uh, for the spring which was kind of like my big hold up on this was I didn't want to try to like make some some kind of spring out of like or like get like a pin and open the pen and get the spring from that cuz I just didn't feel like it would work well and I just decided I'm going to try something weird and different just whatever I have on my desk. Uh so if you look in here, you see this green here and it's going in a bit of an arc and what that is and what that is is that it's just some of this green rubber tomato wire. And if you look at this, it's got some springiness to it, uh, but it does bend quite easy. Um, what I decided was I was just gonna take maybe half an inch of it or so. I cut it, I put a bit of an arc in it so it had a hump. And then I just, I rolled back the tomato uh, or the rubber shell bit and stuck the metal pin the metal wire into the, a little hole that was there and just ran it back and the end result is uh, you can see there's a little gap in there it keeps it up I push it down it closes the gap and it brings it back up so it works I'll show you this working after I show you my next key uh, so this is my other street key. I just recently got this at R&L. I believe I paid 25 or 30 bucks for this, which, believe it or not, is a pretty good price for a, a straight key. Uh, they can be deceptively expensive. So when I got this, uh, your the intended use is to back these thumb screws off. Um, let me find a wire here. You stick a wire in here, stripped it of course, and then you tighten this back down on top of it. And then that goes back to the key um, on your radio to, you know, make the, the dits and dahs. And as cool as that is, like kind of like retro, uh, kind of like just bare connections, um, I have a bunch of like iambics that I've 3D printed. And they've all got these TRS plugs on them. And I've got probably, you know, six or seven more of those TRS plugs. So I was like, I'm going to try and fit that in here. And you can probably see it right here. So what I did here was, and I don't advise doing it this way, but I took my um, soldering iron, heated it up, and just pushed it through. I don't advise that because this was some stinky plastic. It was a... Uh, not like when you melt your uh, PLA a little bit. It was very stinky. Uh, so I, anyways, I got this in there and uh, tighten that down. And I just soldered up a couple little uh, cat whisker wires I had and just tucked them under the screws for the contacts. And uh, now this works as well. I just plug in my TRS jack uh, or I've actually preserved the original function of this is that I can just hook up bare wires to this if I have to, which I think is kind of a, a neat little uh, way to 
have uh, this is a little more versatile now I would say than well this one I could just unwind but you know something like this you'd have to have a TRS plug so let's go with how I like test my straight keys because I have a Morse Arena and that's mainly how I listen and uh, practice my send with a, a iambic uh, but it doesn't work with a straight key it's it's only iambic so what I do is uh, and I don't know where I have a cape lats I just have a bare TRS plug for now well let's go ahead and plug this in I just plug that in like that I take these alligator clips clip one here clip one up over here on this one and then I just hook those up to my probes for my multimeter I set it to continuity and now Uh, it works, although, let me turn it this way, it's just sitting a little weird. And my cop, believe it or not, my copy is worse than my send, because I know that was abysmal, but, uh, hey, that's a cheap way to get a buzzer right there. I was trying to experiment with a little piezo speaker, but I was having trouble because the voltages are kind of uh, required voltage. Voltage is weird on it. Um, so let's uh, check out this other little key. So we just take our TRS, plug her in. Wait, yeah. Again, I know it's not perfect, but that's a, that's about what I got. So, uh, fun little thing. Um, I'll, I'll take another look to see if I can find the 3D print files for this. And I would recommend building it the regular way. But I just wanted to kind of... I had an extra, like, 15 minutes. And I was like, I'm going to just put this together with whatever's in arm's reach. And I did. And it works. So I'm happy with it. So this is the bro cam saying, don't be afraid to experiment in weird ways and try and come up with cool, inventive solutions and modifications to your stuff. 73.